Okay, so if you're just coming out of the film, then the first thing you probably want to see us talk about is the return of Superman. Henry Cavill has been shrouding as soups, and after years of wondering whether he's in the role or not, it seems like he's back. He's f***ing back! <laughs> Now let's talk about the scene first before we go over what it means. The film ends with Black Adam being told that he's unable to leave his kingdom in Kandak. In the DC Universe, this is the birthplace of Black Adam, and the movie recaptures its architecture perfectly, even down to the statues. Anyway, Wallace sends in a holographic drone that forbids him from leaving, and she says that this is now his prison. This is when Adam says, no one on this planet can stop him from leaving, and Waller taunts him by saying that she can call in a favour. She has several people she can send in who aren't from this planet, and this sets up the prodigal son's return. The Rock destroys the drone, and this is when Henry Cavill appears as Superman. We can see him looking slightly more geared towards his classic comic book look, as well as the Christopher Reeve incarnation that was a staple of most of our childhoods. His suit is brightened up, with a yellow especially standing out on the ass, and he now has a curl in his hair. The John Williams score is also accompanying him instead of the Hans Zimmer one, and oh no. No, not again, not again! Anyway, the two sharing the screen together is a big thing, and apparently getting Cavill back was so down to the wire that this scene wasn't actually shot up until September. There's lots of foreshadowing to their eventual showdown, with Adam even lighting up a poster of Superman after waking up in Amon's room. Now this scene very much echoes the ending of Man of Steel, with the boot now being on the other foot. In that, Kal-El smashed a drone like it was the like button, and told the government that they would never control him, even though he was there to help. Black Adam's motivations could really go either way, and Soups rightly says that he's making the world very nervous. This is similar to Soups himself, with the government being unsure over whether to trust the hero or not. Now in the case of Superman, it was more straightforward, with him clearly being a good guy. Black Adam, on the other hand, is a completely different entity, and tying back to Injustice, something similar happened in the comics. In that, Superman decided to become an oppressive dictator after the death of Lois and his unborn child at the hands of the Joker. He and his regime travel to Kandak to stop Black Adam after missiles hit the location from outside evil forces. Black Adam was furious they'd been attacked, and he wanted to strike back and make the world pay for what they'd done. This pit the two against each other, and we got the aforementioned scene. Black Adam at one point remarks that Superman's regime is based on his rule of Kandak, though I don't think we'll see Adam as a dictator in the movies. Instead, I think they could bring in the missile plotline with it potentially being fired from the US. Now this could be the classic versus type movie, where it's revealed that there's a true villain behind it all who's manipulating everything. This would follow the classic versus formula, and it's something we've seen in Batman v Superman and Godzilla vs Kong. However, with Batman v Superman already being pretty close, I'm not sure they'd do that. The reason I'm bringing it up though, is because Dwayne Johnson recently confirmed with Cinema Blend that he absolutely plans to bring Black Adam vs Superman to the screen. When probed on if it would happen, he said, Absolutely. That's the whole point of this, man. Bit of crap impersonation there, but regarding fighting Superman on the big screen, Johnson then said, I've been waiting for someone to step up and address fans and say, Hey, we hear you. So finally, after many months turned into many years, we ended up what we ended up at. And the whole goal and intention now is to this new era, new time, now let's build out. A Superman fighting him could be the plot of the next Black Adam movie, but first we have confirmation that Man of Steel 2 is now in development. The original was first released all the way back in 2013, and after numerous appearances alongside other characters, I'm glad we're finally getting a solo Superman movie. Warner Brothers announced this earlier in the week, and they clearly did it to hype up Black Adam. The best way to market a movie is to hype up the next one, so it feels must-see, and you can totally see why they made it crystal clear that the Man of Steel will be back to Man of Steel the scene again. Anyway, this could potentially be the Black Adam vs movie itself, and Henry Cavill vs The Rock would be a massive selling point to get people in seats. Now Black Adam and Superman have fought off against each other several times in the comics before. CBR have done a big list on this if you want to check them all out. I thought I'd keep things simple on the video, and just focus on the main one that I think they'll adapt. Now this happens in Action Comics 831, and it involves the pair duking it out in Metropolis. We discover in it that Lex Luthor is pulling the strings, and that he'd hired Black Adam to bring Psycho Pirate in. Turns out that Luthor had also hired Psycho Pirate too, but he'd gone rogue, and started using his powers to trick people into ending their own lives. Superman had been investigating this, and this is what leads to the main conflict. Superman thinks that Adam is working with Pirate, and the pair end up duking it out against each other. 
and I think they might end up bringing in the missile plot we talked about before, and then Adam would travel out the US in order to investigate things. You might believe Supes is involved with it, which would make sense, as we see he's now working alongside Waller in this scene. I have no idea why he's with her, as she's pretty bad, but it's something they could explore in an upcoming film. There's also the possibility that he himself is keeping an eye on Adam, and this is why he wants to have an intriguing word, intriguing it is. Instead of working with Waller, he could be there to simply see how he reacts to her, and then try and broker peace with Adam to avoid a planetary war. There is some potential subtext to the scene with him talking about how nervous Adam is making the planet, and potentially he is his own agent for the Justice League that just wants to come in now he knows he's not working with Task Force X. The Suicide Squad is someone that the Justice League would steer clear of, so yeah, that's just another way that I interpreted the scene. 